Hey witches, full moonlight, uh, and long time no talk. Uh, a lot has changed over the past year since I've last made a video. Um, just a little quick update. I am, uh, back in January, I was accepted uh, to grad school for September of this year. So I'll be starting that soon. I um, also decided to get married. Um, yeah, so I got married uh, back at the end of April. Uh, I've been, everything's going really well with that. And I moved in with my wife because we had not been uh, living uh, living with each other until uh, this year after we got married. And we are moving um, to another province here in the Maritimes for her work. And uh, we're actually leaving tomorrow. The move is going to be done in two parts. I'm going to be moving down uh, first with our two cats, who you're going to meet at the end of the video. Our cats are named Odin and Jupiter. So tomorrow we will be going down uh, to our new place with them. I'm going to be renting from my parents. Whole housing crisis thing. It was. It, it's just been a whole roller coaster this year. Uh, we weren't able to get the housing that we had uh, manifested, but we got a another alternative. We're just renting from my parents, like I said, so everything is okay there. Um, I would say I probably got about 90% of what I manifested, maybe 85 so not too bad. Um, so what I want to show to you here is what I'm packing with me for when I go tomorrow. This is my little uh, travel kit. It is... Um, you know, a good size uh, box here that I'm bringing because I need quite a few things. Uh, so let's take a look at what I am going to be bringing. So here I have a um, travel deck that I will bring. It is a very small um, Rider White deck. And over here I have my uh, Pentacle I got that all uh, shined up here with some silvo. I also have my um, necklace here. And I have my little swan uh, figurine. I don't know where I'll be putting this, but I thought he might like to come along for the trip, so he's in the box. I jumped on the Moldavite uh, train and got this, gosh, and this little French community here, uh, a couple hours away. Anyways, I got that all shined up. I'm going to be bringing that because I have a ring of power uh, ritual that I want to do. I have some sealing oil that I made up a long time ago. This will be, um, it's meant for like uh, doors and like thresholds to kind of just uh, seal things in. So that way you can keep unwanted um, entities out. Uh, Sometimes you learn things the hard way, especially when you uh, used to live across from a graveyard. I'm just going to say that. Uh, yep. Uh, we got some salt here. And um, I have a spray bottle. So where I'm going, I can't really use any smoke cleansing because it's my parents' uh, rental property. Um, it's, it's just a thing. Anyways, I'm, um, I should mention that it's also on the lake. So... Um, you know, my moon water game has just, you know, gone up by like a thousand. So I'm hoping I can just put some salt into this bottle with some of the lake water and shake it out. But I also have, um, hold on here, let's see if I can open it, some crystals. And I'm going to add the crystals uh, to the water. Hold on here. Ugh. Yeah. So what do I have here? Got like amethyst, clear quartz, blue lace agate, just a couple uh, little things. I got some uh, rose buds here. This is going to be an offering to Demeter. Um, over the past year, a lot has changed with my magic. I tend to be very ceremonial with my magic, and um, I don't do a whole lot of folk magic anymore. But some, I, I still do. So yeah, doing more ceremonial magic and also um, I work more with Demeter now than I do Hecate. I feel like Hecate's has given me a lot, but I really need to like connect with Demeter. So I've been doing that. 
So I have a little offering there for her. I might just sprinkle this around the property, kind of crush it up a little bit. Um, roses are very um, complex. There's a lot of depth to them. They're not just these like, you know, pretty fragrant flowers that we kind of know them to be. Or like, you know, a trendy type herb that you see like in a lot of like TikTok videos or whatever. They're they're very, very deep and complex. Like you could write a whole book on roses and using them in spirituality and religion. So there's her offering. I also have this um, trance um, trance meditation bomb salve thing that I had made up. It's more like a bomb, I guess. I made that up quite a while ago, so I'm going to be bringing that. I made so many jars of it. I brought a little rock here. It says wisdom. Um, I am bringing some palacento. Um, I know palacento is endangered and we shouldn't be buying it, but it just keeps making its way into my home, which is fine. Um, it, it lasts a long time, so I might use it for the outdoors, though. And I have some candles here, just white ones, and just a single um, silver candle holder. This is pretty well. Um, all that I'm going to be taking, I might bring some selenite though, I, I use that a lot. It's just hard because everything is everywhere right now. Um, I'm going to be bringing this book with me, The Witch's Shield. There's a couple things that I want to do to kind of um, uh, bring protection into my place. And uh, uh, The Power of the Witch by Laura Cabot. A uh, really good book. I just finished reading it and there's still some... Uh, meditations that I want to do in this book or from this book and I'll have uh, some you know peace and quiet once I'm you know down at the cottage on the lake to um, you know be able to do a little bit more of that and connect with the place that I'll be living at for the next couple of years anyway so yeah that's what's going on with me I am hoping to make some more videos here in the upcoming future It'll be a lot getting settled in. Like I said, big year for me, huge roller coaster. So anyways, I'm happy to reconnect with you and let's go meet the cats. This is Odin. He is my spicy boy. I um, just woke him up from a nap. See, unthinkable. Because uh, he would never wake me up at all in the night, of course. So I'm being very rude right now. Say hi. Jupiter. This is Jupiter. Um, he's sleeping right now. He's my sweet baby boy. I wish you could see him.